That's the reason those donors created the Kalamazoo Promise in the first place, not for recognition or reward, but because of their connection to this community, because their belief in your potential, because their faith that you would use this gift not just to enrich your own lives, but the lives of others and the life of the nation. After my mom was murdered, I moved away because I couldn't deal with it. But once my husband got hurt, I knew that the only way that my kids were going to go to college was to come back here to Kalamazoo. And it was hard for me coming back here, a place where I lost the person that was all I had, one of the most important people in my life. And it was a lot of bad memories. But in the end, I can honestly say it was worth it. I came back for my kids so they could get an education. And I got here toward the middle of eighth grade. As we progressed through high school, I started noticing people were more into what school are you going to. And I think it shifted because people's perception of what they could do changed as well. What do you see yourself doing in 20 years from now? 20 years? Hopefully I'm running a hospital, you know, as the head of the neurology department and saving lives. Watching my brother grow up in college just taught me a lot. I've always wanted to go to Western Michigan um, since I was in the fourth grade. We used to go to a Western football game. I just knew that I always wanted to play here and I always wanted to go here. It was always like, how am I going to get there? You know, like how, how am I going to pay for it? And the, the tuition and the room and board with them with the promise, it opened up for me. Lyndon was a natural athlete. He started playing football at the age of six. He's also um, one of the fastest in the state of Michigan. And he's also a good student. So these are not tears of sadness, these are tears of happiness because my kids made it.